right, I got another test video I want to um, throw out there. I found this uh, brushless AC motor and somebody threw it away. It was from like an old pool heater. It was the blower motor for the um, for that pool heater. Uh, and I'm going to be using it as a rotary spark gap motor. We have the auto transformer here that's plugged into the 120 outlet. It is powering the transformer over here, which is a step up 120 into 240. And I have both the motor and this step up transformer. Uh, it's rated at 120, but uh, I have it plugged into the step-up transformer. to two, It'll go up to 240 for this particular test. Uh, the motor itself can run on 240. It's rated up to that, but uh, we'll show the voltage that I'm actually using right here during this particular experiment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Start turning the voltage up a little bit with the auto transformer. Alright, looks like we got voltage here. Motor hasn't started up yet. There it goes. Alright, so right now... We are looking at... Probably, uh, I can see it there, but it looks about 20. Yeah, it's about. Yeah, oh, I see, it's about 40. So that means that we're using about 80. We turn it down right where it starts to go. Right there, it's pretty steady. Right there, we're at about. 20, a little over 20 at that voltage right there. Alright. I'll go ahead and increase voltage. Let's see, we're at 30, 40 volts. There's about 50. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good sparkage there for 50 volts. I'm putting in 50 volts AC. So I was putting a little over 110 AC into the step-up transformer. And that voltage back down a little bit. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this test is because I recently did a study on a um, transformer called the Klystron transformer, and it stated that you could turn the velocity of electrons into electromagnetic energy. And I was thinking that I could use a rotary transformer to kick the velocity of the electrons up to a significant speed and then turn the velocity that the electrons get from the rotation into a higher electromagnetic radio wave. But uh, in theory, that's um, only an idea, but we'll see what happens. Because supposedly you can use a Klystron transformer to amplify and frequently modulate a electromagnetic wave and you can take the velocity of the electrons with that modulated frequency through the klystron transformer and 
the velocity can be ch then changed into electromagnetic energy. So the faster the velocity of the electrons, the higher the electromagnetic energy you can get out of the signal. So I just had some food for thought. I just thought I'd throw that out there.